Good morning. Sang Shao the to another vlog in China. I actually skipped a day from the last video I posted, so this is my third day here, and we are starting the day off by heading to the train station. Thank you. Chad trying to translate all the signs. We thought we had all the information we needed for a successful Chinese train station navigation, but we ended up running into a lot more. Suppose lower tickets are booked, but there's mass confusion here, and they've just got our. Are they? They've just got our passports behind the glass, which is which is great. All right, Chad, how's our how's our train station experience going so far? Not so good. We're I think all in all we're doing okay. Certainly we speak none of the language. Yeah, well we got our tickets. That was After a feat. That is the third attempt and they fi we finally... We made it on the train. So we are leaving Shanghai. Where are we going? Nanchung. Nanchung. So concludes our train ride. Hey! These people are the reason for our visit to Nanchung. They're from T Motor. We lost to Kevin. Kevin! What are you doing, Kevin? By the way, if you ever ride a train in China, Keep in mind that you need your train ticket to leave the station. Kevin almost got stuck. T Motor Mobile. It's the T Motor Mobile. I love it. Look at that. T Motor is a manufacturing company that specializes in the making of brushless motors, specifically drone motors. The reason I'm so excited to meet with T-Motor is because they are the main manufacturer of Rotoride's line of hype train motors. So we have arrived at an industrial complex. This is where T-Motor, the company that we work with to produce our hype train motors, has some of their offices and factories. So we're here to basically see where our motors are made. Graphic designers, engineers, purchasing. That's where they take pictures. They make the motors look pretty there. Conference room, they do meetings. So that's engineering and operations, but I'm most excited to see production. Big old crazy machine shop. Lots of CNC's and cutting tools and stuff. Really loud in here. This area is mainly material storage and initial fabrication. Basically taking the raw chunks of metal and cutting into pieces that will later become the bases of the motor and extruding into the rings that will be in the bells, all the things like that. Now when we went upstairs, that's where things get a little bit more interesting. Unfortunately for this part, I'll have to do more describing than showing because we weren't permitted to film in this area. It's where they have a lot of their specialized machines and processes 
So I understand, but I wish I could show you. It's super cool. This is where all the stuff actually starts coming together into what looks like a drone motor. The small CNC pieces are fitted together, magnets are glued into place, laser etching puts the logos on the bell. It's all really cool. I think my favorite machine is the winding machine that puts the metal windings onto the stator. I don't know, it's just like It's cool. Overall, the whole production line is a really interesting mix of both manual and automated processes and I don't know, like seeing some of the, the care that has to be taken with certain steps like balancing each individual bell, it's, I don't know, it was really eye-opening. It made me appreciate our motors uh, a whole lot more. Seeing everything come together firsthand, it was awesome. Anyways, after checking out the manufacturing building, Vivian and NK, our hosts from T-Motor, took us downtown Nanchung to check out their corporate offices. Space Age door. Oblong reception desk. Scenic views. Even more engineers. Lots of engineers. Being an engineer is a great job. Bright, decorative wall art. Stinger swarm. The whole room of salespeople. Buy! Or no, sell! Sorry, I don't know. Alright, excellent tour. We had some good meetings, took some good selfies. Awesome trip to T Motor. We have a little bit more, uh, we got a little bit of free time actually. So, what else are we gonna do? Fly the things, that's the most important thing. Look at this army of scooters. I wish scooters were that popular in the US. We got some trees to bounce around. We got some like bushes we can like kind of turn around. I don't know. That's probably the most exciting thing to fly here, right? Right? What else could we possibly want to fly? There is something about China that has me more taken aback than any country I've ever been to. What is it, Chad? What is it about China? Um, the people? They are very nice here. I just keep being like, holy sh**. The this whole is country's crazy. like Vegas. Like they're trying to go big on everything. Like even a little city in China has huge a skyscraper and granite. I think and maybe that's what it is. Just everything is like to the tenth. It is. Now this is one of my favorite things that I found in Chinese cities. At nights in the little city squares, there's often these like dance parties, and everyone is just having a good time. I love it. This whole trip has been an amazing experience. Big thanks to T-Motor for having us for the day and showing us around the facility and helping us make products that I'm even more proud of. Thank you to you guys for coming along on my adventure. As always, I appreciate you hanging out and I'll see you again soon. Bye.